I guess you'd assume these were the brakes. Push that in. I just have a giant air leak. I'm not going anywhere. Doug Odergaard is a longtime truck driving instructor. So if anyone knows just how complicating it is to drive an 18 wheeler, it's him. So this isn't the yeah. job for for someone who doesn't know what they're no, doing here. No, absolutely not. But experience played a big role in Thursday's high speed chase. The alleged driver, 38 year old Darren Suter, has the credentials, an expired commercial driver's license. Odegaard says Suter clearly knew what he was doing when he planned to steal a trailer from the Airway Heights Walmart. Once you get hooked, all you have to do now is hook up your airlines, you get those lines backwards, you're not moving. And then we crank up the landing gear and we're gone. A job, Odegaard says, an experienced driver can execute in a matter of minutes. Somewhat. Knows what they're doing. Just enough to be dangerous. Cross over and down, coming. Copy, speed 70. Refusing to stop for deputies. Do we have spikes yet? Negative. That semi truck racing towards North Spokane at high speed. Crashed into a parked car. Officers in pursuit unable to stop that runaway truck, describing over the radio just how dangerous the situation is. Extremely reckless, placing everyone in harm's way. I don't know how we stop it, but lethal. it's lethal. Take a look at this dramatic video captured by our cameras showing just how fast that truck was traveling through the intersection of Ruby and North Foothills, even hitting an officer's car. Witnesses say they couldn't believe what they were seeing. My heart skipped a beat because the truck was going so fast and I couldn't believe it stopped. I mean, it just stopped right before it hit me. The fact that he did not hit anybody, I'm speechless. During the chase, 11 schools in the area were put on lockdown, keeping all of the kids safely inside. The semi driving so recklessly, officers finally had to call off the chase. All units discontinue the follow. All units discontinue the follow. This is where the semi truck crashed into this fence, destroying it, then eventually going on top of a car that's since been towed, then sliding its way into this garage. I started shaking because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And we just built that fence. It was just a loud noise. The damage, pretty extensive. I think that's the rear window. This window's inside my car. Nicole Benny was inside her home when the truck came barreling down the street and into the yard. It was like jackknifed. And Nicole was picking out clothes for what was supposed to be a special day. Today's my anniversary. We were planning on going out to sushi, which we will not be doing that tonight because now we have to pay our $1,000 house deductible and my car deductible and it's Christmas time. Few blocks away. Darren Suter arrested for crashing that truck into Nicole's yard, leaving a mess and a day that Nicole won't forget. Yeah, I didn't expect this to be my day. <laughs> Nicole says she's grateful that this was a school day, otherwise her kids would be playing in this backyard. Reporting in Spokane tonight, Andrea Olson, KHQ Local News.